Cholo has been captured na hii mbua. It has uh, mekua ngumu kwa watu ku access food, uh, medicine, matibabu na kadhalika. Haswa mahali mekua cut off sana ni basa. Uh, household zaidi ya uh, uh, zaidi ya miasita. 626 households wamekua cut off. Hakuna access, hakuna chakula. Lakini sasa tuko na mpangilio. Irasaburu household zaidi ya miasita pia. Uh, pia imekua na imekua captured na floods. Then other areas kama Ngaramara, uh, Meriti, North, South. Uh, so uh, along the river also. Uh, lakini nataka kushukuru serikali ya county. Eh, kwa sababu wametoa chakula ya kusaidia zaidi ya household elfu kumi. Eh, Mbaya utapiana chakula eh, rice, eh, mchele, ma, eh, mchele, unga ya ugali, eh, mafuta ya kupika na kadhalika sabuni na vitu sikine. Eh, Action aid eh, vile vile wametoa package mzuri which is comprehensive, uh, rice, uh, maharagwe, na green grams, na, dig uh, na, na ita dignity kids, uh, na toothpaste, na kathalika nets, mejaribu kuangalia upande yo, na blanketi. Tumepata chakula pia kutoka national government, uh, 300 bags of rice, uh, 1,000 uh, pieces of iron, sh iron sheets. Uh, uh, then took on uh, 50 cartons is a uh, yeah, corned beef. Uh, took on a uh, uh, sabuni ne kadalika. Is of it to Hivyo mimi wito yangu ni ku we are calling on other partners wa kuja watusaidie kwa sababu in, eh, the entire county of Isiolo is submerged iko na changamoto kila mtu analia eh, upata usaidizi wale watu ambao affected zaidi ya 14 more than 14000 households have been affected na floods then they displaced eh, around 6000 uh, 500 uh, persons have been displaced from their areas. They are living into in six camps. Kuna camps sita. Around 1,000 people are living in the camps. The six camps that have been uh, established. Our naishi katika mashule, makanisa, kwa hizo makamps. Kwa hivyo ni changamoto. Kila siku tuko na shida ya mafuriko. Uh, mafuriko mengi yanatokea upande ya ya Nyamende uh, Hills Meru side kwa hivyo isiolo iko kama kama kwa kwa vade soto so maji yote yanateremka hapo hii town vile vile it has been affected upande ya Burat ward uh, Wabera ward uh, ikienda paka upande ya Ngaramara it is really nadaba it has been affected Hivyo the intervention which the government imepeana na our partners, Red Cross na Kadhalika, I think imesaidia kualivate the problem by Iko. Lakini tunaendelea uh, kupeana ile report tuone kama more food, more non food items, uh, mambo ya mosquito nets, tents, uh, kusaidia watu. Kwa sababu tena Iko atari ya madawa, magonjwa kuchipuka upande ya uh, hizo areas dysentery uh, cholera hizo uh, zote lakini the ministry ya health hapa uh, imetoa madawa ambayo tutapeana kusaidia tena tuko na wasiwasi kwa sababu ya ile kalaza ile mosquitoes imekuja imekuwa reported upande ya meriti uh, so mosquito nets inatakana ziwe pia upande ile na watu wasi walale ndani ya mosquito net ndio ndio hiyo ugonjwa isiwapate uh, fikiri kwa upande yetu tumepoteza watu uh, 
tangu flat six, six people have lost their lives na mifugo pia imepoteza mifugo kwa hii eh, hii floods kwa the infrastructure imekuwa destroyed and nyingi and accessibility iko iko shida ma bridges eh, meenda uh, hivyo we need to do a lot uh, na tunaambia pia wananchi eh, wajaribu pia kufungua zile calverts wasiongoje tu kama wachimbe mtaro na we are saying tutataka pia kusaidia food for work wale vijana ambao wanachimba mtaro wana, wanafungua hizo tutawapatia hata chakula eh, so that tusiongoje tu eh, maji yanakuja tunakaa na maji yanakuja ku, ku kupeleka watu na tunapoteza maisha na mali yetu kwa, kwa hiyo kwa hivyo hiyo ndio tunataka tutaendelea eh, kutana kila wakati tukimonitor mambo ya ya mvua na tunaambiwa in the next 10 to 15 days it will be enhanced mafuriko yatakuwa mengi eh, kwa hivyo tukae chonjo na eh, na tu lakini report kama kuna muta ambaye amekuwa Eh, maroon to report na tutapeana choppers eh, vile tumefanya na tumeokoa maisha eh, kwa, kwa kwa sababu ya hiyo intervention na wale volunteers eh, ambao wako huko eh, wako mashinani the coping mechanism watu waelezewe how to cope in case of uh, kama kuna maji eh, ku rescue people the basic eh, rescue eh, first aid eh, measures should be taken Eh, kwa hivyo wakati huu pia tunasema tuna tuendelee kupanda miti eh, kila boma ipande miti eh, sio miti tu hii zingine peke yake hata ile fruit trees eh, machungwa maembe nini eh, ndimu tuendelee kupanda ndio baada ya hii mvua kuisha by february at least tuwe tume tume green isiolo na tutakuwa pia tume map yale yale corridors ya maji ile njia za maji eh, so that tu kwa repairing areas tutoke tusijenge kwa kwa njia za eh, za mvua ya maji eh, wakati maji ikikuja kupita njia yake wewe ndio itabeba na wewe na unaanza kulia oh yeah, sisi tumebeba na maji na wewe ndio umejenga kwa njia za maji the list tunashia the list eh, what water under ndma omar hapa so that hiyo uh, wale wame benefit ni wale wame benefit so that una benefit kwa action aid una benefit national government red cross uh, world food program so hiyo mambo tumeangalia na wakati tunapeana pia tunaangalia vulnerability kuna wale watu wa mama wako na watoto wadogo ambao wananyonyesha hata wao tunapatia a different formula ya kuwasaidia then wale mama wazee watu wazee kabisa pia tunaangalia blangeti lazima hao wapatiwe mambo ya blangeti eh, madawa kwa hivyo tunafanya assessment na shukuru red cross na ile team ambao wanafanya hiyo assessment and mapping they have done a very good job kwa sababu so far kama tungekuwa tume sensitize wananchi tungekuwa tumepoteza watu wengi weka eh, kila familia anapata karibu 20 what 22 kg ya yeah rice uh, maize maize flour maize flour uh, uh, na Be, uh, beans green grams sabuni uh, net uh, na madawa and sanitary pads kwa kwa watoto wetu uh, kwa kina mama hiyo i think tume tumeangalia hiyo yote wale other stakeholders wakuja wasaidie wasaidie watu Uh, especially wakati ya distribution tunaomba watu yetu wawe na nidhamu ikikoja ukiwa kwa list uh, musi musilete tahuruki uh, mahali wengine tunaleta chakula watu wana, wanavamia chakula then wale watu hawana nguvu wanakosa ku, kupata chakula kwa hivyo tunataka tu tuwe na ile discipline heshima uh, tu, wakati tunagawa chakula